Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to look at proving the convolution theorem, which involves Laplace transforms. So the convolution theorem says, suppose the Laplace transform of the function f of t is capital F of s, and the Laplace transform of g of t is capital G of s. Then the Laplace transform of the convolution is just the product of the Laplace transforms of the individual functions, where the convolution is defined as the integral from 0 to t f of r times g of t minus r dr. So it's just a way to write an integral, basically. So what we're going to do is prove this convolution theorem. All right, so first thing we do is we start out by writing the Laplace transform definition inside that integral there. So the Laplace transform of the convolution would be the integral from 0 to infinity times whatever we're taking Laplace transform of multiplied by e to the negative st, and then we integrate that dt. All right, so first thing we're going to do to this Laplace transform, now it's a double integral, we're going, to in we're going to swap the bounds of integration, so or reverse the order of integration. Right now we have r going from 0 to, to t, so this straight line, r equals t. Right now r is going up like this, and t is going all the way out to infinity. All we want to do is reverse the order of integration so that we do, uh, maybe t goes from r to infinity this way, r goes from 0 to infinity at that point. So that's going to be our order of integration reversed. So t is going to go from r out to infinity, and r is going to go from 0 to infinity. As we go up this way, r continues to go up. So this is our integration reversed. Now what we got to do is move this integral, e to negative st, term inside the t integral, because it's not okay to leave it out there. So what we got to do is move that e to negative st inside, but what we can do is we can move this f of r outside the t integral. All right, so that is our rearrangement that we're going to do, and now we're going to do a u substitution for that t integral. So right here, we're going to do a u substitution for this t integral. The u substitution we're going to do is u equals t minus r, basically to just get rid of this term right here, t minus r and put any pluses or minuses in the exponent of e. So what's going to happen? We do a u equals t minus r substitution. This is going to become g of u right here. But now, e to the negative st, well, what is t? t is u plus r, and r is being treated like a constant here because in a, a double integration, the other variable is treated like a constant. So t becomes u plus r. So that's what happens here. Now, differentiate u with respect to t, treating r like a constant, du is just equal to dt. So that's our dt becomes du. Now, the bounds change as well. If we plug in t equals r right here, we get u equals 0. So the new lower bound for u is 0. Now, plug in t equals infinity, infinity minus a constant. It's really technically a limit, but the limit as we go infinity minus a constant basically is still infinity. So our bounds for u are 0 to infinity, so we're just doing a simple u substitution here for this integral. Now, what can I do? I can say e to negative s u plus r is really e to negative s u times e to negative s r, and split those up. So e to negative s u comes here, e to the negative s r comes over here. All right, so now we got an integral for r from 0 to infinity. We've got an integral for u from 0 to infinity. What I can do is pull that dr over here and just make this a product of two separate integrals because now the variables are completely separated. All right, so that's what we do. So we make this integral f of r e to negative s r dr from 0 to infinity and integral g of u e to negative s u du from 0 to infinity. And that is the very definition of capital F of s right here and capital G of S right here. So that is now the product of the Laplace transforms. And that's how we prove the convolution theorem. We just had to use some basic techniques of reversing the order of integration from multivariable calculus and a simple U substitution. That's how we do it.